Hello everyone. Welcome to today's lecture where we will look into the fascinating life and works of Hermann Hesse, a renowned figure in German literature. The journey will explore the unique blend of influences that shaped Hess' worldview and examine the synthesis of opposites in his literary works, particularly focusing on the themes found in Siddhartha and Steppenwolf. Let's start with his background. Born in 1877 in Kaaf, Germany, to missionary parents of diverse ancestry, his upbringing was a paradoxical blend of severe German Protestantism and a rich immersion in the languages and mysticism of the Far East. To understand his masterpiece Siddhartha, we must grasp the concept of synthesis, a mental process of reconciling opposites has developed an awareness of this process during his psychoanalysis under Dr. Joseph Bernard Lang and Dr. Carl Gustav Jung, reflecting in his literature the themes of self-quest by resolving chaotic polar opposites. long life spanned a tumultuous period, including two world wars, the rise of extremism and the plague of Nazism. Deeply opposed to industrialization, right-wing nationalism and war, he sought seclusion in Switzerland from 1912 until his death in 1962. His uniqueness is evident in his family history. His father, a piteous missionary, and his mother, born in India, had close ties to the East. The familial connection led the foundation for his later exploration of Eastern philosophy in his works. His early years were marked by a turbulent education vividly depicted in the novel Under the Well, published in 1906, where he explores the dichotomy between the authoritarian school system and the world of greatness and genius. After a brief apprenticeship and early career in his book business, his writing style transitioned to realism. The period from 1904 to 1912 saw the publication of several works, including Peter Kamazin, published in 1904, and the founding of the the liberal periodical Mars. His fascination with the East led him to travel to India in 1911 and 1912. While his memories expressed disillusionment with 
the westernization of india the journey influenced later works like siddhartha and the journey to the east the years from 1912 to 1919 were marked by psychoanalytic sessions during which his introspective works emerged his experiences during world war 1 shaped his anti war stance and resulted in a series of essays including in sight of chaos published in 19 19 from 1919 to 1962 his self quest continued he became a swiss citizen in 1923 experienced multiple marriages and explored jungian theories in works like steppenwolf which was published in 1927 and the class bid game which was published in 1943 earning him the nobel prize for literature in 1946 harman has legacy endures marked by his unique life journey and literary contributions as we explore his works let's appreciate the synthesis of dualities that defined his art and philosophy siddhartha it is a novel that not only reflects harman has genius but also serves as a universal tell of self discovery and spiritual awakening the genesis of siddhartha during his psychoanalytic period 1919 to 1922 is fascinating dedicated to the pacifist roman ronald roland the novel's composition spanned nearly 3 years weaving together diverse threads of inspiration as we explore the narrative consider the parallels between siddhartha's choices and his own departure from parental expectations how does the protagonist journey mirror his personal decisions drawing comparison comparisons to the life of gautam buddha notice the childhood parallels the departure from family for asceticism and the shared practice of yoga and meditation these echoes add layers to the narrative enriching our understanding a recurring motif becomes a backdrop for crucial decisions and revelations siddhartha's pivotal moment beneath a mango tree and buddha's visions under a bodhi tree share profound significance explore the symbolism of these more these moments join me in contemplating the concept of liberation and salvation central to siddhartha jani as we uncover the parallels between his protagonist and buddha reflect on the shared pursuit 
of nirvana and breaking the cycle of metempsychosis. Ankavar, the subtle Christian influence in Siddhartha's quest for salvation. The theme of regaining innocence akin to becoming a little child before entering the gates of heaven adds depth to the narrative. Notice these nuanced connections. The novel reaches its perfect resolution as Siddhartha achieves salvation by regaining innocence. The symbolism of entering the gates of heaven mirrors the protagonist's spiritual journey. How does this resolution resonate with you? In conclusion, Siddhartha invites us to explore the profound depths of self-discovery and spiritual growth. Get the novel instantly to embark on this transformative journey with his timeless masterpiece. Thank you very much for joining me today in this lecture. Let's hope that we will be meeting in the next lecture. Till then, I, Ruturaj Kurdip, signing off. Take care. Thank you.